Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for your great support so far. I'm indeed very grateful. In this video, we'll be discussing John Okafo, his biography, family, wife, children, controversies, networks, cars, houses, and many more. John Ikechuku Okafo, popularly known as Mr. Ibu, was born on the 17th of October 1961 in Enugu State in the Southeast region of Nigeria. He is from Nkano West local government area of Enugu State. He has siblings, but the only one that is known is his sister, Queen Chioma Ibu. Mr. Ibu is a veteran Nigerian comic actor, comedian, master of ceremonies, and television personality. He is considered to be one of Nigeria's most talented and highly paid comic characters. His humorous acting is often characterized by stupidity, hilarious imbecility, and a sharp disconnection from reality. He is a very interesting character to watch out for in Nollywood movies. Mr. Ibu is known for his very funny roles in movies and is often referred to as the funniest comic actor in the Nollywood industry. After his primary education in 1974, Mr. Ibu moved to Sapele to live with his brother following their father's demise. Growing up was not a rosy one for Mr. Ibu. His family was among the poorest in Enugu State, Nigeria at the time. In Sapele, he did menial jobs so he could sponsor himself to school and support his family. He works as a hairstylist, a firewood seller, a meat butcher, a photographer, and a casual worker in a company that produces crates. He also did some buying and selling. After his secondary education, he gained admission into the College of Education, Yola, in the then Gongola state, now Adamawa state of Nigeria. He, however, dropped out of school due to financial problems. After he made some money, he enrolled in the Institute of Management and Technology, IMT, in Enugu, Nigeria where he eventually finished from. He started acting from his secondary school days, but did not realize that he had the ability to make people laugh. If you have watched this video to this point and you've not subscribed, please kindly like the video and subscribe to my channel. Kindly also turn on the notification button so that when I post another video, you'll be the first to see it. Thank you. Mr. Abel joined the Nollywood industry, which is the Nigerian movie industry in 1998, in the role of continuity since movie directors and producers had not realized his acting prowess at the time. Shortly after then, he started featuring in movies and television soap opera, where he played minor and supporting roles. He worked at some point with the Anambra Broadcasting Service. He obtained a black belt in karate in 1983 and went on to teach karate in some federal government colleges in Nigeria. John Okafor is also a member of the Karate Federation of Nigeria. In an interview, Mr. Ibu said, he had to travel from Inugu to attend movie auditions in Lagos, and he was rejected and denied movie roles many times because he is not as handsome as other guys that also came for the movie audition. Most directors prefer to feature handsome guys in their movies. After finishing from IMT in Inugu, Nigeria, he moved to Lagos to fully pursue his dream in acting. Mr. Ibu lived with a friend of his in a single room popularly called Face Me, I Face You in a ghetto area in Lagos, Nigeria. In an interview, he revealed how he will walk from the house to places like Ajawa Estate, Festac Town and Surulere in Lagos for movie auditions and rehearsals. His friend later chased him out of the house after leaving a few months with him, accusing him of various things. He slept in uncompleted buildings, under bridges, motor parks and almost committed suicide due to frustration. God came to his rescue when he met a Hollywood movie producer he knew in Enugu, Nigeria and the producer accommodated him in his house in Lagos and gave him a major role that shot him into the Nollywood industry. John Ikechuku Okafor was shot into superstardom in 2004 after featuring in the Nollywood blockbuster comic movie Mr. Ibu, which gave him his popular nickname Mr. Ibu. He starred alongside Osita Iheme, popularly known as Popo. The movie was so funny that it has been regarded by many as the best Nollywood comedy movie of all time. His role as Mr. Ibu in the comedy movie, Mr. Ibu, earned him the award for Best Comic Actor in Nigeria at the African Movie Academy Awards in 2005. Mr. Ibu has been in the Nollywood industry for over two decades. He has featured in more than 300 Nollywood movies, including Mr. Ibu in 2004, Mr. Ibu and His Son, Coffin Producers, Husband Suppliers, International Players, Mr. Ibu in London in 2004, Police Recruits in 2003, Nine Wives in 2005, Ibu in prison in 2006 and Keziah in 2007. He recently celebrated his 40 years on screen with a concert on the 3rd of September 2023. John Ikechuku Okafor 
is very gifted, skillful, creative and talented in acting and interpretation of movie roles. He knows how to interpret his roles excellently well to the admiration of many and can fit into any character given to him by movie directors and producers. For his work in the Nollywood industry, John Okafo has won several awards, accolades and nominations. His role as Mr. Ibu in the comedy movie Mr. Ibu earned him the award for Best Comic Actor in Nigeria at the African Movie Academy Awards in 2005. In 2008, he won the award for Best Actor in a Leading Role at the Africa Movie Academy Awards. In 2009, he won the award for Best Comic Actor in Nigeria at the Africa Movie Academy Awards. In 2010, he won the award for Best Actor in a Comedy at the African Magic Viewers' Choice Awards. In 2011, he was awarded Member of the Order of the Federal Republic MFR, for his immense contribution to the Nigerian movie industry. Mr. Ibu hit the headlines in March 2022 due to his deteriorating health. The Nollywood actor and comedian alleged that his staff, who his relatives paid, poisoned him at an event. His abdomen became very swollen and he got well after being treated in a private hospital. After surviving the near-death experience, he attributed his being alive to God's immense love for him. John Okafo is married to Stella Maris Okafo. The couple has been married for 13 years. His marriage to Stella is his second. Stella Maris is said to be a Nigerian actress and model. He has three children with his wife, Stella. They include two sons, Emmanuel and JJ, and a daughter, Chelsea. Apart from his children with Stella, he has another child that is known to the public, Jasmine Okafo. While Jasmine has been said by many to be from Mr. Ibu's previous relationship, Others have said she is his adopted daughter. He has an active TikTok account where he dances and does comedy skits with his daughter Jasmine. That is the reason they are always together in pictures and videos. In February 2023, Nigerians on social media woke up to the drama in the household of veteran Nollywood actor John Ike Chuku Okafo. His wife Stella was seen to have credited the paternity of Mr. Ibu's daughter, Jasmine, among other issues. They, however, settled their differences a few days later under the Freezes live stream on YouTube. Many social media users speculated at the time that the family problem may have been a social media stunt to attract attention to the family. He is a brand ambassador for many brands including Go TV and Mary Beth. John Okafor is one of the richest Nollywood actors. His source of wealth is from entertainment, endorsement deals and businesses. His net worth is estimated at about 3.5 million US dollars. His cars include a multi-million naira BMW X6, a multi-million naira Mercedes-Benz C-Class, a multi-million naira Lexus LX570, a multi-million naira Mercedes-Benz GLE. Mr. Ibu has a multi-million naira mansion in Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end. I'm indeed very grateful. Please kindly like the video and subscribe to my channel. Kindly also turn on the notification button so that when I post a new video, you'll be the first to see it. You can also watch any of my other videos by clicking on any of the links on the screen. You can also share this video if you can. Until my next video, stay blessed.